Hi everyone, Barnaby here from Electric Car Converts and this is our full Series 2 or 3 electric conversion kit, um, which is a very, very exciting, it's a very, very exciting day because we finally got it all sort of laid out next to a car. Usually we just build straight into a car, but we're now shipping this in complete kit form all over the world. Um, so you guys can get your hands on it and you can get it installed in your Series 2 or your Series 3 Land Rover, which is really exciting. It can run on Tesla power rather than that stinky diesel stuff um, that they used to run on, albeit not very well, dare I say. Um, so to give you a very quick run through and then we'll go through it all in a little bit more detail. At the very front here, we've got the rad, so tiny little radiator, header tank, the coolant loops ready with it. Then we've got the battery box, there's seven Tesla Model S batteries in here. Um, this one's actually 44 kilowatt hours. Um, so a pretty big battery box for the size that it is. That sits under the bonnet there. You've got your inverter here mounted to the top. Um, you can see the three phase cables going down, which go to the motor. Motor's there, it's got the original flywheel on it, original clutch, clutch plate on it, and the flywheel housing. Um, which is done with our adapter plates and things like that. So that's ready to go on to the original gearbox of the Landy. Um, moving further back, you've got things like throttle mechanism there. You've got all the HV cables that go front to back, um, taking you from battery box to control box. Control box is back here because it sits underneath the rear floor in between the ladder chassis, ultimately. Um, so that's got things like DC-DC in it, charger, etc. but we'll go through that in some more detail in a minute. We've got things like the motor mount there um, and various looms and little other components which I'll go through in more detail. But overall, this is absolutely everything you need to take a car that's got no engine in it and turn it into an EV. So that's really exciting for us. Let's get into it. You guys thought we were just gonna have a video of kit and empty car, but I've got a bit of surprise for you, which is the full rolling chassis. If you wanna see this thing in the flesh, it's going to Goodwood Revival, which is the 8th, 9th, and 10th of September, um, where this is gonna be on our stand along with the kit, along with that car. Um, but I just wanted to very quickly show you, we'll do a full video on this another day, but you can see battery box in the front, um, which is the same as the battery box I just showed you. You can see all those HV cables and how they go down through the car. Um, you can see all the cable management parts and you can see how the control box sits in the back here um, underneath the floor in between the chassis. So that's what I was explaining. But there is the sort of kit on a very bare frame. Um, so this is gonna be really cool to see at our show at, at Goodwood Revival. Um, so come down and see us if you like. But anyway, back to the video. So part one, we'll start from the very beginning and we'll move our way back. We've got the coolant system. So we've got a little baby radiator, came out of a, well, it's designed for motorbikes, um, little header tank there. And then this frame is laser cut by our team um, and it fits into the original radiator mount um, on, on the series. So if you quickly look back over here, you can see where that black frame is sitting within the original sort of surround there. Um, so that's that part. You've got all of the coolant pipes, lengths are all the right length. Um, the pump's in there somewhere there. And that is how the kit ships. So that's that part. Moving slightly further back, you've got the front mount for the battery box. That goes through the PTO hole. Um, so that's how we, how we attach to the front of the chassis. We don't actually use the engine mounts just because there's some variation between model years. There's no real need to use them, so we, we don't. That's that mount, um, all five mil steel powder coated, all the bolts, nuts, everything you need ready to go. Battery box, fully sealed, you'll never open this. Um, it's got the, all the coolant system at the back, it's got the HV and all the BMS wiring already done at the front. You can see that's the BMS wiring coming out of there. Um, it's sitting on a nice frame, uh, which is ready to bolt into this and onto the motor mount, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, also on the battery box, you can see two little plugs there. That's high voltage plus and minus ultimately, um, and is what connects to your high voltage cables, which are already terminated 
already exactly the right length. So you'll you'll push them up, you'll bring them all up over the box, like on this one. Just a little sneak preview of how that's going to look. But you can see that's the cable I was just talking about on the same plug. So we know exactly the right length of the cable. That's why. That's why we can shoot do is it a kit. It keeps it a little bit easy because we know we've done this before a couple of times. <laughs> um, moving further back, inverter. Inverter powers the Hyper 9 motor. It takes two in, which is DC, and splits three out, um, and is connected to things like the throttle, um, all in a mechanism there, ready to connect to the original throttle pedal. So you get more power, less power, which is what that picks up. Um, this is already programmed, so it's, we, I've done all the setup in it already, I've done the throttle maps, I've done everything. Um, there might be a little bit of fine tuning depending exactly where your throttle sits, but really you shouldn't have to touch anything in there. Um, coolant goes in and out of that as well. You can see it's already got the pipe on it, and that pipe is exactly the right length. And I've even given you the Jubilee clip. It's absolutely crazy what's included in this kit, um, but there we go. So that's battery box. Um, in the back of the box, we've got cooling. We've got the two little coolant outlets there, um, which, which you will have to plug in. I can't go quite that far, um, just so it's easier to get in. And it's okay, battery box done. Motor. So this thing is what spins your original gearbox. The way I look at it is we are literally replacing the spinny bit of the engine. Um, with this 120 horsepower, you'll have heard of them probably before if you've watched my other videos. Um, net gain hyper nine high voltage system this is. In here we've got our fancy coupler which is um, CNC cut. We've got these adapter plates which are allowing us to use the original flywheel housing which means we can use original, well the original gearbox really. Um, so that's all set up ready to go. This is exactly how it will ship. So pretty nice little nifty little motor there. That replaces your entire engine. So just shows you what this technology can do. You've got to mount the motor. You've got to stop it from spinning itself. That's what this bad boy is. Um, so that slots around the motor and sits on these two mounts. So it's rubber mounted. Um, these go into original holes in the chassis. You don't have to drill the chassis at all. Um, not even a little bit. So there you go on there. These little bits are cable management. You can see they're just holding cables. This also holds cables into the rear PTO hole just behind the, the gearbox. Um, and then we've got the control box. So in here, we've hidden most of the complicated stuff and all the wiring um, just because otherwise it's much harder to make it in kit form because we have to sort of move things around the car. So everything sits in there. DC-DC, basically your alternator, BMS, battery management system, keeps everything in there safe and happy. Charger, converts your Type 2 plug into power that the battery can take. Um, so that's ultimately what's in there. If you come in close, we've got a couple of other bits, um, like contactor circuits, a bit of 12 volt wiring, um, but it all comes out on a neat little plug, um, well, a couple of neat little plugs, which is what you need to do. So, this is the loom you get. Now, the loom is obviously all pre-made, it's all pre-terminated, so that end goes into the control box there, and then the other end, which is there, goes into the inverter at the front, so you run them forward through the car like I've just shown you in the other one. Um, then these go to things like the throttle, which is that one, and this is the dials and the gauges, um, so in the cabin. They're all exactly the right length, so you don't have to do anything there. All you do have to do is take this red one, which says ignition switch. Um, yeah, connect me to 12V ignition switch. So that basically needs to go onto the back of your key. So when you turn the key, you send 12 volts down there. Everything else will come to life. Um, the other thing you need to do is just give this box a 12 volt source. So you need to give it a 12 volt from your battery and a ground from your battery or from your chassis. Um, and that plugs into another plug. So that's the box. The other little things to do are, you know, take your HV. This is inverter pause on here. So this goes into this hole um, and you need to connect that onto there, you know, with the bolt. So there, is, there are still things to do because we can't ship them already in. Um, but the majority of this is all pre-done. Really, there's very, very little to do. Um, I would say it's 
yeah, 12 volt from the battery, ground from the battery, ignition source, and then just really bolt it in where you've got every bolt you need. You need a toolbox and you need an engine crane, the same engine crane that you took to take the engine out, you can use to put the battery box in um, and the motor in underneath that. Um, and yeah, that, that's what it is. In terms of what you need to do beforehand, if you come around here, we need, this is very restored and very nice, so yours might not look quite as nice as this, maybe it does, I don't know. Um, but you basically just need an empty engine bay um, with the gearbox sitting there. If you see there, you've got a nice gearbox ready to take all this in a minute. Um, and other than that, we're about to take the grill off, we're about to take the bonnet off, and we're gonna see how quick we can get this into a car, because as I said, it's Goodwood in a week or so. We've gotta get this car to drive there from here, which is about an hour and a half. Um, so hopefully we get there. Um, what, what have I missed? Price. This kit starts from 35 grand, including VAT. So if that's shipping out of the out of UK, um, you take the VAT off that. So it becomes, I think, 28, 29 grand. Um, that's for the lowest battery capacity version, which is 70 odd miles of range in a car like this. Or this one is 44 kilowatts, um, which is good for over 100 miles in these things. Um, so you decide how many batteries you want and we build you this kit, stick it on a pallet and off we go. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, stick them in the comments like you do. If you have any negative comments, stick them in the comments below as well because I, I love hearing from you all. Um, but yeah, we're Electric Car Converts and see you on the next video.